I'm Rick Stratman. I go to Calvary Chapel here, and I've been blessed to ask to give my testimony. And I've been thinking about it while another man was in the hot seat. And the biggest thing I can say is I was raised a Catholic. And um, once you raise a Catholic, it takes a lot for you to, quote, I guess, leave the church. And so yeah, I was until probably, uh, I think I was already working in a factory after being in the Air Force that I finally realized that the way my life was going and the things I said and the way I acted, and the only thing I heard coming through everything was someday you're gonna be judged. And um, I started to think about my life. If I were to stand in front of God today and he would ask me, well, why should I let you into my kingdom? I'm thinking about, well, how many good days did I have? How many bad days did I have? And the more I thought about it, growing older and older was, uh, you know, I don't have a clue. And it scares me to have to stand there in front of God, in front of Jesus, and say, well, I had a lot of good days because I don't know how many I had. I don't know totally what he wants me to be doing. And it comes to you point blank, heart and center. I need a savior. And we're taught Jesus is your savior. And the more I learned about Jesus and him taking my sins and dying on the cross, more I realized I needed him. And the more I needed him, the more I thought about it, the more I knew I needed to change my life. And I needed to get to the point where I was just totally exhausted and trying to do everything myself. Self-indulging, self-power. I can do it. I can make this right. I can make that right. I couldn't do anything right. I needed a Savior. And then one day, I finally gave up, uh, got down on my knees and told him I needed him. Asked him to for, forgive me for everything I've done. And I'm telling you what, I never felt so good in my life. I never felt so much leave me. All at once, the pressure, the weight, the fear of not knowing where I'm gonna go when I stand in front of Jesus and God. And all I can say is I hope that someday you look at yourself and you realize that you need a Savior. And you accept Jesus and what he did. He died for our sins to give us free life, eternal life. And it's free. We can't earn it. We can't work for it. It's free. And I would just ask you to sometime when you're frustrated, just give up. Let God, let go and let God. Let Jesus come into your life. Take a Savior. And you'll feel the power come in you. It takes over you, leads you, and guides you. You, you don't have to do that work anymore. It's been done for you. I hope you, I hope you really do it.